join the army yesterday, so the army of today's all right. Boom, boom, boom. Poor help out. <laughs> Waiting for Miss Wright. God forbid. Miss Wrong's much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm waiting for the postman. Oh, he comes with a van these days. Oh. Got sick of Diana ambushing him. <laughs> Expecting something, i A word from Cubby Cabbage. Who? Fellow that makes the Bong films. Broccoli. There's you. <laughs> I tell him I'm available for Bond. And he's getting back to me. Good idea. We should be back in pictures. I'm sure they miss us. I know they do. Arnold Schwarzenegger, and and uh, and and well, you know what I mean. He rang me the other day. What do you want? He's doing another film. He's playing the Archbishop of Canterbury. Great <laughs> casting. Yeah. He wondered if I knew Arch personally. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for idiotic gibberish. Keep the same. How is Diana? She's going to be a nice surprise when she wakes up. I've cleaned the flat to within an inch of his life. You mad, impetuous fool, you. <coughs> he has been tidying up again. He saw your behavior and struck you down. Why do you always want to do something you know will upset me? Because I enjoy it. How can you? I'm a domestic anarchist. Cobblers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I think, uh, I think it probably stems from my childhood. Huh? See, my father was a, well, he was a useless so-and-so. He used to go out whoring and boozing, and then he'd come home and clean the house in a fit of frenzied guilt. So whenever I see a clean house, I feel sort of, well, tormented and driven to muck it all up. You've never told me that before. No, no, I, I suppose I wouldn't have done, seeing as I've just made it up. <laughs> So, you mess it up just to upset me? Yes, pure unjustified malevolence. I enjoy upsetting people. Oh, well, if you enjoy it, I shall just have to accept it. What? Well, I'm fond of you. You want to enjoy yourself, I shall just have to accept your figure. You can't do that. That ruins it. I want to upset people, not give them pleasure through tolerating me. Sorry. Right. Right. That is positively the last time that I chuck rubbish round this place. Oh, surely not. I'll show you. I'm so upset. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is Wednesday, and I have a long way to travel. a minute. Did he just win that argument? <laughs> Hello? Oh, not today. 
Hello? Anyone in? What? Anyone in? <laughs> no? <laughs> um, shall I come back later? Uh, yes, like when? Uh, when someone's here. <laughs> like who? My father, or you. Is it a good idea, Geoffrey? Why not come back later when one of us is in? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, Geoffrey. <laughs> Teetering on the brink of reason. <laughs> one breath of wind, one tiny nudge, and we will all topple into the dark, screaming chasms of chaos and confusion. And here we go. <laughs> Hello, Jean. Go away. Oh, you're here. Yes, well, I think so. Funny. Geoffrey said nobody was here. Yes, well, Geoffrey, like his father, is a couple of putters short of the full golf bag. <laughs> what is it you want, Jane? I wanted to speak to Tom. What about? Something. Yes, well, what? I have a request. What? Harvey. Well, what? It's private, Diana. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, is he in? No, of course he isn't. It's Wednesday. He's down under with a flying doctor. Oh. Could you get him on the radio? <laughs> Good day, good day, good day. This is Warren Dilly Bass to the Flying Doctor. Do you have a Tom Bell out there? Over. What do you got? What on earth are you doing? It is Wednesday. You're supposed to be with the Flying Doctor, not up Everest. The Flying Doctor dropped me off at the summit. That is cheating. Well, I'm getting old. You try dragging your backside up Everest every Thursday. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, yes. Jean wanted to speak to you. Privately. Probably wants to make you into her love slave. <laughs> I shall be outside beating up the sparrows. <laughs> yes, Jane? I have an urgent request from Harvey. I'm not going to be his love slave. <laughs> How would you like to do something wonderful for Bayview? What? You mean blow it up? <laughs> Oi. Prato Portuguese. I speak French. What are you doing? No speak English. <laughs> What's going on? Every broccoli's turned me down. I can't understand it. I could have been the name's Bond. Baffled and Bond. <laughs> Shut up. What's with all this tidying? Not expecting some cloth eared royal, are we? I'd set my heart on movie stardom. I'd even booked a place at the Betty Ford Clinic. Uh, quick, we have to talk. Amazing news. Oh, uh, hello, Diana. What's the palaver? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. I just want a bit of a chat with Basil. What about? Uh, um, uh, the, the tactics for the Domino's tournament. <laughs> Come along, Basil. What is going on? What's this? Sorry? This fetishist uniform you're wearing. Look like somebody who gives discipline and spanking lessons. <laughs> you got it for me. That figures. What for? Um. Oh, I think I hear the phone. What is going on? <laughs> 
not. <laughs> he is merely the figurehead. I run this place. I'm sure you do, my lovely old ducky, and I bet you do a super job too. You're my kind of girl. Oh, I wish you were my granny. <laughs> at last, fame and fortune. And fighting off the jinx. Limousines and fancy restaurants. And fighting off the jinx. Oscars, BAFTAs, and WOFTAs. And uh, not fighting off the jinx. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, uh, nothing, Diana. Oh, uh, you're looking very slinky today, Diana. Oh! Oh, Jack, dear. God, Jane, come here. Sit. <laughs> Diana, I'm not a dog. What do you want? I want to know why this entire place is done up like a tart's parlour. <laughs> and why those two old goats are cackling like they've got feathers up their capers. <laughs> And why you are done up like Betty Davis on speed. <laughs> All will be revealed, Diana. Well, not by you, I hope. <laughs> by Harvey. Oh, how revolting. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Everybody happy? <laughs> yes, well, never mind that. Well, great news, and I'm sure you're all going to be thrilled. We're going to be in the movies. Hooray! Oh, Shut up, you two. What are you on about, you little stink pot? <laughs> it's nothing to concern you, Diana. That's the one that need me in the ghoulies. <laughs> and who is that great patronising oik? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce you to the director of the film in question. It's, uh, it's Mr. Richard Iron. Irons, eh? No relation to Jeremy Attenborough. <laughs> what film? Basil and Madonna do it in a balloon. <laughs> Shut up, Basil. It's a commercial. We're making a commercial here. What for? The living dead? <laughs> We're making a commercial for Bayview. As you know, Bayview has been such a success, thanks to my tremendous management skills, that the board... Currently meeting in Hawaii. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. That the board have decided to set up Bayview franchises across the country. Now, in order to do this, we have to persuade a few local councillors. What a great place this is. Hence the short promo film. <laughs> or no film. <laughs> it's a promo. Promotional. Forget it, Harvey. I'm sorry? Well, nobody around here wants to get involved in something that's going to encourage the spread of geriatric ashtrays like these. Uh, we all come to be stubbed out by blood-sucking, brain-dead incompetence like your slimy little self. <laughs> Make a film to encourage you. Oh. Eat your socks. <laughs> well, thank you, Diana. Well, the following have agreed to appear in the film. Now, there's Deirdre Oliver, Jenny Murphy, Basil Makepeace. Oh, and Tom Ballard. Join the enemy. 
earth are you doing here? Hello, Diana. Are you in now? <laughs> well, you were out earlier when I called, so I wondered if you were back in yet. <laughs> Geoffrey, what is the matter with you? It's Marion. I don't know what to do. Oh, God, what is it now? She's attacking anyone who comes to the door. She says her life has no purpose, she has no fun, and I'm boring her to death. I don't know what to do. Have you thought of suicide? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Diana. It's embarrassing. No one can come to the door. She bit a pair of morons. <laughs> More mums, <laughs> Yes, sorry. I'm a bit stressed. The, the delivery people have to chuck everything from the road. It's all right with the papers and the post, but the milk's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Is Dad around? No, he and Basil are with a pair of brainless moles nancying around on the croquet lawn. They're not sacrificing goats again, are they? No, they are making a film. Really? Gosh, how exciting. I've always wanted to make a film. Always wanted to be a director. When I was at school, they used to call me Celia. <laughs> <laughs> After Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> they got it mixed up and called me Celia B. DeMille. <laughs> That's a nice bunch of lads. <laughs> right, so, lovies. We'll start over here on Harvey. So we'll do a little bit to camera. Then we'll cut to you all having a wonderful time. So I want you to really enjoy yourselves, OK? Super. You may touch me, Jane. Oh, I did you five minutes ago. Yes, but I was younger then, Jane. I go, lovey. Bit of hush, please. Turn over. Bayview promo, take one. And action. Action, Bainesy. Hi. My name's Harvey Baines. I'm the manager here at Bayview. And, as you can see from the people around me, we, we all have a lot of fun here at Bayview. <laughs> no, it, it, it's fun, fun, fun all the way. I, uh, no, but, but it, it's serious as well, because it's, 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 a great, it's a great responsibility guiding these, guiding these senior citizens through their autumn years before they, before they fall off their twigs. <laughs> Where's my script? Cut. Don't worry, we can edit it out. <coughs> right, set them over here for the old lovelies. Oh, that's us. This bloke's an awful creep. <laughs> okay, Tommy Lovey, and action. <clears throat> well, I've been at Bayview quite a few years now, and on the whole, it's not a bad place, despite being hopelessly run by the idiot Baines. <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it. Just hold it. Tom, would you mind sticking to the script? It's a wonderful place because it's so well run by the idiot Baines. <laughs> well, let's go again. Action, Tom, and remember, it's a wonderful place because it's run by me. I can't say that. I'd be struck down. Basil, you do your bit. Oh, right do ho <laughs> Ready? Yes. Fine, you'll go ahead. Don't mind me. I'm just the director. Action, 
the terrapin. <laughs> Again, I embarrassed the stud make peace. I have a wonderful time at Bayview because most of the chicks here are right little ravers who go. <laughs> uh, Vicky, I'm so sorry. Okay, Jane, in your own time, and action. Chest out, Jane, lick your lips. Think, hot, steamy passion. <laughs> Shut up. Just get on with it, Jane. Hello, I'm Jane Edwards, matron of Bayview. And I'd like to show you around our wonderful, happy home. Come inside. Get up, please. Thank you. Thank you. And this is uh, the dining room where we all uh, dine <laughs> happily together. Oh, here is Jenny, a happy, healthy person. I'm so happy working at Bayview. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> and Mr. Quack. Yes, about to serve one of his famous cordon bleu meals. <laughs> I will give you a very happy place for illegal immigrants. <laughs> we never get turkey. It's just time. <laughs> and here, once again, is Harvey, our wonderful manager. Eating with the residents. Mm. I always eat with the residents because, because the food is so good and it's always such fun. Harvey's a real man's man who needs only one thing in life and that is the love of a good woman. But he doesn't realise that that woman is so close to him she could bite him. No, you can't. Carry, carry, carry. What do you think you're doing? Just a bit of ad libbing. Meryl Street does it all the time. Oh, you're fired. I want this woman off the lot by sunset. Oh, no, 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 just forget it. You'll never work in this town again. <laughs> Jenny, 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 come here. Okay, it's your turn to star. You're going to play Jane. <laughs> Now get out there and kill them. Oh boy, Mr. Baines, don't you worry. I, I won't let you down. All my life I've waited for this break, all these years of waiting tables. And now I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be a <laughs> Okay, light, camera, action. The minute you walked in the joint. <laughs> And now it's time to go over to Ramsey Street and see how things are going with Rayleigh, Gailey, Shirley, and Wayne. No point in overdosing culturally this early in the evening. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Don't stand up. No interviews, no autographs. We're just good friends. <laughs> What ho? There's no business like show business at all. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. Members of the Academy, <laughs> thank you for the statuette. Of course, I don't usually accept awards. But I want to use this platform to bring to your attention the plight of the gay Welsh Aborigines. <laughs> Don't you want to hear about the filming? No. I've just spent two hours in the sauna. What sauna? And then we had to do a scene in the intensive care unit. We don't have an intensive care unit. Uh, no, that was Harvey's office with a few bits of dentistry equipment. <laughs> what about the sauna? The potting shed with a kettle going full blast. <laughs> Tom, this entire film is a fake. This is show business. How can you possibly?
possibly support Harvey in this blatant bit of humbuggery? Diana, it's my big chance. I could be a star. Well, I am shocked. I am really shocked, Tom. I've always admired you. You may be a couple of wheels short of a full wagon train, but <laughs> I've always felt there was a basic honesty about your daftness. But now, for the sake of a few pathetic sprats thrown to your vanity, you want to chuck all your ideals in the bin and become one of God's great cosmic jests, one of life's lowest forms. <laughs> You want to become an actor. <laughs> Actors are fine people. Rubbish. They're animals. They should be kept caged north of Potter's Bar. <laughs> Let out to do their bit and then locked away again. Then every time we picked up a paper or turned on the telly, we wouldn't have to listen to their pig-ignorant ideas on everything from fashion to famine and back to their boring causes and relentlessly tedious sex lives. Not keen on them, eh? I went out with an actor once. The only way I could stop him talking about himself was to sit on his face. <laughs> he was still burbling on about his agent as he lost consciousness. <laughs> You do me good. Yeah, well, I am worried about your soul. Well, you needn't be. I've been pulling your leg. What? I'm not going to go along with Harvey's con job. You're not? Of course not. At first I thought it might be fun, but once he started faking it all, I decided to subvert the whole operation. And I need your help. <laughs> Have you heard about Mario's latest problem? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, Marion. How is every little thing? My life is a total waste of time. I wish I was dead. But otherwise, everything's fine. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I hear you're in the movies. Yes, but we have a crisis, Geoffrey. Our director is no good. We need your great talents to help us out. Oh, God, fantastic. I'll just get my gear. And there's a chance for you too, Marion. We want you to play one of the leading parts. Do I have to sleep with the director? It's not that sort of film. What do I need to bring? Well, uh, six pack of vodka should have the right effect. <laughs> Movie! <laughs> do you think this is totally moral, Diana? To sacrifice one Marion to bring down a legion of potential Harveys? Perfectly moral, Tom. Right. Phase two. Get Harvey and Jane off the premises. I, I'm Harvey Baines, and I'm the manager here at Bayview. And as, as, you can, as you can see by all the people around me, well, we all have a lot of fun here at Bayview. Ah! Look. Oh, look at that, Jane. Oh, it, it, it's there. Can't you see it? Do you mean the nasal hair? <laughs> I mean that indefinable something, that, that something that says, it, it says box office, it says star quality. Is it a blackhead on your nose? What? <laughs> yes. Really? No, no, I'm sure he wouldn't be remotely interested. He is the manager of a retirement home, not an actor. Oh, give me that, give me that. Hello, hello, Harvey Nigel Baines here. Who is this? Creative Talent Agency? You've heard about the picture? You want me to do a screen test? 
And to bring my own makeup, lady? Yes, but isn't that it? They've gone. Oh, Jane, I think there's a little trip to London tomorrow. That agent sounded vaguely familiar. Yes, well, you, you just, just call my tailor and my hairdresser. Oh, yes, and I'd better get my feet done. Yes, call my pederast. <laughs> Okay, they've gone. Action stations. Right, Marion. Time to be a star. How can I be Harvey if I'm the director? I can direct this bit. I'll operate the camera. Okay, Jeffrey. Action thingy. Um. Hi. My name's Harvey Baines. And I'm Jane Edwards. And together we run this breakfast show. <laughs> right. Here we are then. So sorry. Harvey isn't here to greet you personally, but somebody has stolen the wheels of his car, so he'll be a little bit late. But he told me to let you see the film anyway. Did you steal his wheels? <laughs> Clever little sod. Right, here we go. Uh, phone, Jane. Harvey Baines, and I run this place. The board insists on high qualifications for these jobs, which is why I took a crash course in accountancy while at my open prison. <laughs> the charges were later dropped. And now I'd like you to meet Jane Edwards, our matron, who was handpicked by me and the board after we'd all slept interviewed her. Jane, <laughs> say hello to the councillors who have gathered from all over England to see the wonders of Bayview. Hello. I'm Jane Edwards. And I'm the one who keeps the product in order around here. So, come and have a look round. <laughs> <laughs> this is the croquet lawn, where our residents have a lot of fun. Mr. Quok, our chef. <laughs> Tell the nice people about yourself, Mr. Quok. Ah, wonderful place. Feed only cheapest food. Ah. <laughs> Aren't you escaping? Go on, Quokky. Right beside the leg. You were the leg last week, and I want the tail for soup. Bayview and get ripped off and eat household pets. <laughs> like five pounds exactly. Oh, hi. How was the movie? Look, look I, 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 I'm sorry I'm late. I, I'm, I'm Harvey Baines. I was the lead in the movie, you know, the one with the firm jaw and the roguish Look in his eyes. We're reporting this place to the European Court. <laughs> what happened? Well, I'm afraid they found you unattractive, crooked, and insincere. Unattractive? Don't bring us, and we won't bring you. Well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, it certainly was. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> Reality's leaking again. <laughs>